Vehicles are able to make their way slowly through Cedar Canyon Campground, but not all roads are open. Park officials are blaming floods for the damage to roads and to this bridge. There's a footbridge that's out. That's probably a five-day project, five to seven days, uh, once we get someone in to do the work and, and figure out how much that's going to cost. It's going to need a little engineering to, to redesign part of that because it got hit pretty hard by a cottonwood tree. The staff at Cedar Canyon has partnered with 140 volunteers on a number of cleanup projects and work is able to be completed when the weather permits. It's been absolutely wonderful to kind of get a break from uh, the excessive rain that we had. Um, it's a huge blessing to have the rain, don't get me wrong, but um, now that we've kind of hit a dry spell, we were able to do some cleanup. A professional crew is needed to fix the roads and footbridge, and the director, Mike Wentz, says the project will be left to the experts. In the meantime, 400 hours of volunteer work has helped the recovery efforts. Heavy equipment's pretty expensive on a day-to-day -day basis rental. So we're still looking for some folks to help us out with some, you know, donated equipment for a couple of weeks to help us wrap up some of the roads. Despite the damage from the flooding, the camp has opened new recreational activities. We just opened up our new water slide thanks to the break in the rain. Um, so that is wonderfully um, a great time to have. Um, there's still a little bit of iffy spots, but if you just watch where you're going, there's no reason not to come out.